right, a little bit of a nicer fish here. I'm on a deep crank. It's been tough today. Hey folks, AZ Kayak Fisherman here, and I'm out on beautiful Canyon Lake. Uh, we've had a lot of rain lately, and so we have a ton of debris in the water. The water visibility is a lot less than it used to be. But uh, I'm gonna try a little shallow first, see if this uh, dirty water has kind of pushed some of these fish up shallow. So I'm gonna chunk a uh, Yamamoto Cinco around on a wacky rig, uh, pretty much weightless, and uh, see if I can find something next to these uh, wind canes or reeds, whatever you want to call them, and go from there. So, wish me luck. Cinco filing, but not very big. It's all right, though. It's a fish. Pretty good bite in them. <laughs> Swim over here. Gotcha. All right. Fish number one. Not that small, but not that big either. But I'll take it. Beats getting skunk, that's for sure. pain in the butt on windy days that's for sure um, trying to stay on the spot it's windy and especially if you're in a tunnel like this you're getting pulled in all kinds of different directions you got the current you got the wind each one's kind of sometimes it just takes you in a circle almost um, but this is one of the reasons I have a Hobie it definitely helps uh, the whole time um, constantly I, I usually try to face the wind so I can pedal into it kind of stay in a certain area and uh, just minor adjustments with the rudder with one hand and what's great about it is you never really have to take your rod or set it down um, you're constantly able to keep your hands on your rod and feel those uh, bites so definitely uh, any kind of propulsion based kayak is, is going to give you an advantage or at least make it more convenient to fish on those windy days because uh, you can't control mother nature you know you get limited time to fish you gotta take advantage of those times and some days it's gonna be windy so can you do it in a paddle kayak of course uh, will you have to adjust a little more your hands are gonna be a little more busy definitely uh, I've had both uh, nothing wrong with either one of them you know most important thing is you know get outdoors and have some fun um, but clearly if you know 
if you uh, if priority is fishing convenience factor definitely uh, Hobie and you know some of these other manufacturers with their propulsion based kayaks are, are the way to go and they're definitely as you can see in the market there's a lot more companies making them so clearly um, the demand is is there uh, you know, and I definitely love my Hobies all right back to fishing hopefully actually back to catching hopefully all right so no more uh, Cinco fish so I am going to try a drop shot, kind of a double drop shot, with with a few nose hooked Kitech Easy Swimmers. on there and I'm gonna put a slightly bigger one on this technique last week so we'll see if I can uh, repeat and do it again hold on So I managed to pick up another one off a deep crank, running about 25, 20 feet. I saw a few suspended fish here and there, so figured, what the heck? Throw a deep crank down there and see if we can troll one up. There you go. All right, guys, back to fishing. See how it goes.
little bit of a nicer fish here. I'm on a deep crank. It's been tough today, but she's a nice fat one. Revived her a little. Nice 20 inch fish. I'll take it. Take five of those any day. All right, uh, AZ Cag Fisherman here, giving a recap of the fishing today at beautiful Canyon Lake here behind me. What did we learn today? Um, I learned that probably should have went with the deep crank sooner. The one fish I caught on the Cinco really wasn't a pattern, just got lucky and um, clearly um, saw a lot of suspended fish, so should have stayed with the deep crank sooner uh, because it did net me a couple of, couple of nice fish, especially that last one at the end, very, very good quality 20 inch fish, so uh, deep crank, I guess, in the winter, um, seemed to be the only uh, ticket for me today. Hey, I wanted to give you guys an extended recap and some additional points from today that I didn't really cover out on the water. Uh, the first thing was on the deep cranks. So what was I doing? Uh, definitely looked kind of strange. I was long lining, long lining the cranks. So why did I do that? Well, the 6XDs that I brought with me today have a theoretical limit of probably 17, maybe 20 feet, depending on the line size that you chunk them on. And of course, depending on how far you can throw them. And I can definitely wail on them with my Kistler 711 rod. Uh, the thing throws them out there, but even with that and the 12 pound floral that I had on there, I couldn't really get them probably any deeper than maybe 17, 18 foot. Uh, depending on how far I threw them and the target that I was trying to hit was about 23 to 25. I was seeing some stuff on the bottom a few fish kind of tight down there or what I thought was fish and um, I wanted to hit that depth and I didn't have any larger cranks with me some 10 XDs or something that would get down a little bit further so I had to so I had to come up with a solution or a compromise and that was long lining and the way I deploy it on a kayak is basically pretty easy. Chunk it out behind me, let out an additional 20, 30 yards of line, and either troll with it for a while or sit there and crank it in. You know, move, let out additional line, stop, crank it in. That extra distance gives that bait a little, little additional time to dig down through the water column and actually get to some some deeper depths and that was beneficial and that was probably the only way I was going to catch well those two fish that I caught today so I wanted to to share that with you guys in case you saw that and had questions or just wasn't clear um, out there on the water today uh, the second thing I wanted to bring up was wasting time <laughs> and boy did I waste a lot of time on a rig that I thought was going to be awesome today and turns out I didn't I didn't get a bite on it and that was because last week uh, there was a lot of shad in the area and I deployed this uh, easy shiner drop shot technique and it worked great so I went out there today thinking you know what I'm gonna double that up I'm gonna put two hooks on the line which we can do legally here in Arizona 
and I'm going to deploy two of those easy shiners and I'm just going to kill them today. Uh, I'm going to put a, you know, one about a three inch and one about a four inch and see which one they like more and see which depth, you know, if it matters. And I thought that was just going to be it for me today. I mean, I thought I was just going to tear them up. Well, long story short, as you can tell from the video or the lack of video, I didn't catch, I, I didn't get a bite. Didn't get a bite on that setup at all. But man, in my head, I was thinking it's going to work. It's going to work. I just kept at it, kept at it, which is a good thing. It's good to have confidence. It's good to, you know, keep going through it when you have confidence in something. But at some point, especially when you're trying other stuff and you catch a fish, maybe it's time to, hey, they want it this way this week. They don't want it that way <laughs> this week. So that was the other point I wanted to bring up is I wasted a ton of time on that technique today and I should have dropped it like a hot potato <laughs> early on and should have just went with the deep cranking because last week they wanted they wouldn't hit anything unless it was tiny I mean they wouldn't hit something this size they wanted the small shad and then from what the birds were eating they were like three inches long and that was key last week this week the two bass that I caught on this, uh, the one nice one, the one a little bit smaller, they inhaled this thing. I mean, down in its mouth, back hooks, back in there. I mean, just, they wanted it. So, go figure. I mean, so that's uh, the ending of that point is, you know, don't get hung up on what worked last week or even yesterday when you're out there on the water because it may not work today. So, like they say, I hate this saying is, let the fish tell you. <laughs> Sounds so easy, right? But it's not. Um, so I'm going to end that with that, that point and my, uh, my stupidity because on my drive home, I was thinking about it. I'm like, man, why didn't, uh, why didn't the light bulb go off sooner? So keep that in mind the next time you're out on the water. As always, enjoy your outdoors. Be safe. Take somebody fishing. Go fishing. Whatever. If you like the channel, please subscribe, hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to grow it and see what happens. If you like this type of video uh, with me talking, great. Let me know that too. If you hate it, let me know that as well. But uh, hope you enjoyed it. Take care.